And we're back. Let's see, I believe I said it would be watcher time. So it's watcher time. Oh, I haven't cleared the on break text again. That's the theme of these episodes. Each of them starts out with the on break text. <laughs> the other theme is that we're playing Slay the Spire. All right, I want to check the map, not my deck. I just misclicked and then was like, huh, why did I pull this up? What am I looking at? It's the slime again. Slime feels like a very, like, middle-of-the-road boss to get. Let's see, if I upgraded a card, though, what would I upgrade? Eruption, obviously. <coughs> Take 21 damage for a random rare relic. That's interesting. Let's do it. Incense burner, huh? Let's see. Slime does his big attack on his third turn, right? I wonder if I am actually good enough to set up incense burner to make the first big attack deal one damage. Anyway. Where are we going? Well, we're going on a path that apparently has campfires and elites on it. I'm thinking like up here and then like swing over here. Hopefully we don't get kidnapped or killed. Let's see, I can still take any of these starting positions and go up here. Do I care which one? I think either way I'm getting like two fight icons and two question marks before the campfire. Or wait, no. This way it's, it's three, and this way it's three, but this way it's two. I'd, I think, prefer more question marks over more encounters. Of course the question mark could just give me an encounter anyway. Right, I did not actually upgrade Eruption, I merely thought about it. And then I didn't take that option from the whale. Good first fight. Bonus card played with a skill, apply one vulnerable. I don't often take these like if the last card played was things, do I? Evaluate's so good, though. Eh, vulnerable can be so good, too. Yeah, we'll give up more HP. Since our first fight went so well. Does Crush Joints Eruption Strike deal more, or Eruption Crush Joints Strike? I think I want to play the Eruption first. I guess I can play Miracle to set up Crush Joints vulnerably. Oh yeah, I got him. So even if that wasn't optimal, it was definitely a good enough play. Bowling Bash or Empty Body? I have already added an attack. <laughs> I'm just gonna give up all 72 of my hit points to events, aren't I? Whoa! The value! Vigilance, empty body... I probably didn't need to stance exit there. Could have played like empty body and then vigilance and... You know. Oh hey, incense burner. But also the enemies are dead. I guess I could have just blocked, chilled for a turn, set up a better incense burner for later. 
All these seem fun. We don't have any OE yet, because I passed up the bowling bash. I think I have to rest here, but we've already gotten two upgrades that were pretty key. So I'm like pretty okay with that. Glad I got that Consecrate. Did in fact just deal 15 damage for us. Stance Exit giving us the energy we need to succeed on that turn. Body seems pretty good. Got exact damage on the guy on the left. All right, there's no way to dance anything, so yeah, we just we just play our cards. Which one do I strike here? Does it matter? Probably. Am I good enough to know which one is correct? I mean, I'd have to basically predict when I'm actually going to get a kill as a result of committing to one of them. I'll go on this one. I think it's more likely I prevent this guy's next attack than kill this turn here. Oh, yeah. Um, turns out we're eating 10 damage. I think this is the first 10 damage of the fight, though. Yeah, incense burner. That should have been considered in whether I... Yeah, the deck is like half dazes. Maybe just Miracle Strike? Makes it more likely we kill this guy next turn. Got some dazes from getting in the deck. Alright, yeah, now we don't have to enter Wrath to get the kill. And from here, the fight shouldn't be bad at all. I need the empty body. Let's keep our stance in case we want the energy later. We're actually eating 10 more damage. Alright, we're, we're getting him. Modified hand. I'm incentivized to take... Um, powers? There aren't any here, but it's true that I am incentivized to take powers. Let's take Reach Heaven. Oh man, is this gonna be another rest? And then we upgrade here, we rest up here. Or no. We're only passing through a shop on our way up there. It's better to rest here, and then if we buy a card, we have the option to upgrade it. Smiling mask, huh? I should at least look at the shop. Medical kit's interesting. I don't think there's any skill I want to bottle. Fasting, I think we need some way of getting energy before we can consider it. Deceive reality. Wait. Is beta art for the Watcher just always unlocked? Huh. I am pretty sure I haven't killed the heart as the Watcher. Talk to the hand. Interesting. Signature move, though. Mm, nah, I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, let's take Deceive Reality, Remove Strike. Smith here. Too vulnerable, huh? So we've already fought the uh, sent sentries. I almost said sentinels. I think that's a different enemy. Now oh, my title says mid ascensions, but I'm only on ascension three with the watcher. That's like not middle.
Changing the title real fast. Okay, it's changed. Let's go. I think I still upgrade Consecrate just because it'll be really good against the late part of the slime fight. Alright. Um, what do I want to do this turn? I, of course, see the option of Eruption, Consecrate, Vigilance. I think we can get maybe a better wake up, though. I'll just play Vigilance to see reality, and then we can hold the safety. And Reach Heaven does wake him up. Still, having solid retained cards in hand seems worthwhile. I wasn't going to draw into a lot next turn. That was going to be too good. Alright. Alright, Crush Joints isn't upgraded. It doesn't retain, though. Safety, Crush Joints through violence. That's what the saying is, right? Fear Potion, how much damage do I have here? 9 plus 50% is going to be like 13. Then these are normally 12 in Wrath, but they'll be 18, so that's 36 plus the like 13 is 49 plus Consecrate is another 24. That is a kill if I want to use the Fear Potion here. But it might be better saved for the boss. Let's see, alternative play is defend, strike, strike, consecrate. Got him. Do <laughs> Voodoo, huh? Oh, yeah, we're not high enough ascension that that's actually a strictly better Vyra, because we don't have Ascender's Bane. Flying Sleeves and Flurry of Blows are both interesting with Dubudal, though, if we do end up getting some strength out of it. I may like Flurry of Blows too much, but I'm taking it. It's just a fun card. Empty body is sufficient block. Alongside it, I could deceive reality, strike, concentrate. I think that was the best I could have played that turn, unless using the skill potion was a good idea, but I don't think it was a good idea. Let's accept one damage and not play the safety right now. What are we doing? Crush joints, flurry of blows, eruption, miracle, reach heaven. <laughs> Got him. There might have been a way to get him that required fewer cards. Do I play another flurry of blows in the deck? The blows will be in flurry formation. Alright, flurry of blows. Vigilance. Flurry of blows. See reality, that's enough block. We can end our turn there. Press joints, and then just like double defend. Alternatively, empty body into defend, and also the stance is gone. I don't want to lose the stance right now. Let's just play safety. That's, that's what it's there for, to keep us safe. Alright. Flurry of Blows. Eruption. Double Flurry of Blows. Concentrate. Don't even need to play the Reach Heaven, but we could've. Bowling Bash, huh? See, Lake Water is a power. It synergizes with Mummified Hand. Evaluate, though. 
does our blocking situation look? We've added Deceive Reality and Empty Body. Let's, let's get Evaluate. Smith here, because we have the Block Potion. I'm less worried about... Wait a minute, is Incense Burner actually correctly stacked? Or is it one-off? Part of why I didn't think I could successfully set it up is, uh... I don't remember exactly what the counter says when it gives you intangible. Anyway, I think upgrading crushed joints is probably best. That extra vulnerable. Turns out it's pretty nice when you get it. Right. Flurry of blows, flurry of blows, vigilance, that's great. Flurry of blows, flurry of blows. Empty body, flurry of blows, flurry of blows. I mean, I could. I think I'd rather have extra energy next turn when I play Eruption. But it would have been funny and also 8 damage. Very close, very close, strike. That's a very good amount of health to have him on. And we're in Wrath. And yeah, it is properly stacked, but uh. This is still better than blocking the damage with our incense burner. Alright, okay, you're dead. Let's make crush joints supply vulnerable, even though they're, you know, splitting, so it's being removed. Alright, so it blows, concentrate. The Flurry of Blows didn't actually do anything, but it's fun. Liquid Memories, we could get back Flurry of Blows. <laughs> I know that's the worst possible choice. You want to retrieve something that's normally expensive. I'm just memeing. Establishment Vault Deva Form. What do I retain? I retain safety. Um, some... Three violence, but it's a zero cost. Insight, but it's a zero cost. I don't think we want establishment. Vault could be good. Day of a form could be good. <laughs> I just thought, imagine duplication potion, day of a form. You'd get so much energy. Actually, I wonder how it stacks. Do you actually increase the gain by two each round? Or does it just put two stacks of, like, the same buff that still increases by one? Anyway, I don't know if I want Day of Form. Let's just take Vault. Black Star? Uh, Sacred Bark might actually be, like, surprisingly good. Especially while, we'll, while we still have three potion slots. Let's take Black Star. It's more fun. Alright, what are we looking at for the map? We want some elites. I spot both elites and campfires off to the left. Let's go for it. Okay. I think doing anything other than playing Eruption is just cowardly. Let's see. Evaluate. The crush joints. Knocks off artifact. Maybe I didn't think that one all the way through. Darn. If only I could actually exit stance.
Another duplication potion. Consecrate plus. Also, worship is just interesting. Sure, since we didn't take any form of energy, we all prefer a duplication potion over a skill potion as well. Ah, give me a relic. Bag of prep, nice. Hmm. I mean, we have Dubu doll. Alright, decent. Flows, corruption, flurry of blows, vigilance, flurry of blows. Nice. Alright, what are we doing this turn? Double consecrate seems pretty fun. Strike for the knockdown, empty body to get back, flurry of blows. And I might as well deceive reality. Alright, so I think we play Flurry of Blows. Evaluate is almost full block. I don't think we vault this turn, I think we just play cards. Yeah, Bag of Prep actually kind of nicely, not really counters Rive, but like mitigates it. Sort of. Oh, well, just miracle. It's a miracle, the bird's dead. Signature move plus, huh? I am starting to, like, get a lot of zero cost attacks that could just be emptied out of the hand. Fine, I'll, I'll take it since it's upgraded. Okay, which way was I going? Question mark. This elite, this campfire, this elite, this campfire, that sounds right. It's a turn one. What are we doing? We have anchor block. Don't need to worry quite as much about block. Eight would be nice. Could double defend a miracle of reach heaven or something. And of course flurry blows. Ending with my defensive actions in case I get a crush joints that I want to play at the start of the turn. We didn't. That's fine. Uh, consecrate Vault. Doesn't sound bad. Of course we play Flurry of Blows. Which didn't actually do anything. I guess I would have done something if I'd played the Three Violence, but I want to save that for... Oh wait! When we take an extra turn, it apparently doesn't even give him his plated armor. Yeah, I was starting to say, I think I want to save Three Violence for when I have Wrath. Worship plus retain gain the five mantra. Ooh. Sure. Smith. Ooh. Two energy vault. That gains floor, four block when you upgrade it. That's unusual. Seems overpowered. Well, let's upgrade Vault for now. Hmm. Do I need more cards, or is this deck already perfect? <laughs> is that even a question? Okay, where's Flurry of Blows? Is it here? No. <laughs> I don't know if I would have taken it, but... It's funny to meme about. What do I want? I want more stance changes. If possible. I mean, I see empty body. 
I was really hoping for like another source of wrath, maybe. Oh, hey. That would do it. It's way worse if you're not in wrath than eruption plus. What's it upgrade to though? Oops. Uh, turns out left clicking it takes it. I tried right clicking first and it did nothing. So I was like, oh, maybe you left click first and then it pulls it up. No, okay, well that's the card we took. Oh, but uh, what does it upgrade to? Yeah, here you left click to inspect. Five vulnerable, okay. Well, we might want another source. Okay, wait. Defend to get crushed joints. Crushed joints, double consecrate. Miracle, vault plus. Oh, we lose our block when we do that though. Interesting. Is Indignation Flurry of Blows? Well, Flurry of Blows first. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have a miracle. Oops. I wanted the signature move, but we cannot, because I'm done. Well, this is gonna hurt. I was like, oh yeah, then we just get rid of the strike with the miracle. No problem. Wait, I should really think about this turn. Eruption, reach heaven is just a little damage short. Oh, but the flurry of blows would have come back. We would have had him. Taking away more damage than I should this fight. Okay, there, there's incense burner at least. We are briefly safe from stuff. So there went half our health. Oh hey, Eternal Feather though, we're saved. Push points, Fasting, Simmering Fury. Yeah, Simmering Fury is more what we want. Enter Wrath, draw cards. And let's, I guess, hit the chest before the fire. Wait. Oh, right, we're already, yeah. I, for some reason, thought I could go to this campfire still. I was like, wait a minute. Why is that one path longer than the other one? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Our war paints are hitting very good things this stream. No, oh, I can't view the unupgraded form. I think it was draw two cards. Oh yeah, our free health from our Eternal Feather. Let's get Evaluate upgraded. I probably want to actually upgrade those Flurry of Blows soon. Ah, these guys. Well, little did they know I have Flurry of Blows. Okay, I could Eruption, Reach Heaven, Consecrate, Miracle, Empty Body. Maybe I can't even duplicate the Wrath to Consecrate. I got a Flurry of Blows. Wait, Wrath Consecrate duplicated is already a kill on the guy on the right. Alright. Okay. I guess we actually can just Miracle Defend here. We don't need to exit Wrath. Got him. Darkstone Pariapt, another Curse Synergy Relic. Interesting. Mercury Hourglasses. Or just glass, not glasses. <laughs> Man, if you drew two signature moves on the same turn, you wouldn't be able to play either. 
I think we pass. Alright. Let's take the path with more events. We might still become a spooky ghost or something. Alright, Anchor has us mostly covered on block. Yeah, let's evaluate. Insight's a good card. No need to play our miracle this turn. Hmm. Wrath is not a kill here. Just double defense strike. I guess I could have strike vault instead. Would have prevented him from getting his hex off that turn. Consecrate right now is a kill on the left. We'll have three violence next turn. Let's just simmering fury now. And let's also... Oh, let's play vigilance, actually. Next turn, we'll exit stance. Wait. Oh, we drew the other flurry of blows from ink bottle. I was like, wait a minute. Did I not just play this? Does flurry of blows now infinite with itself? No, of course it doesn't. My hand is full. Anyway, three violence is a good card. Insight into crush joints, and they're just dead. Crush down. Whenever you under wrath, draw two cards. I don't think we need to draw that many cards. I'll take empty fist, maybe. Hello, deceive reality plus, huh? But empty fist would give us more flurry of blows opportunities. Yeah, let's take Empty Fist. Thwack! Begin the 4,200th combat. Alright, I've already got 10 block. Double defend, crush joints, consecrate maybe? Do I miracle out to defend to block 2 damage? The answer is of course no. Ring Fury Vault, maybe? <laughs> oh, and of course, play the Flurry of Blows, why wouldn't you? Alright. How? Oh, right, we're already in Wrath, because of course we are. Flurry. Wait, Strike Strike Miracle Finishing Move? I think that works. If it doesn't, we just kill them with Eruption. Oh yeah, eruptions in attack. Of course it is. <laughs> we just can use our other attack if we happen to have an attack that prevents us from, you know. Ah, powerful fight with many rewards. Uh, let's go for it. This is the stream of not being a coward sometimes. If I play the strike, I can signature move. Alright. I don't know why they called this a powerful fight. It's clearly just an Act 1 Elite. <laughs> I want to miracle out the Simmering Fury so bad. It might be a bad idea, though. Eh, let's do it. This is already going far better than it should. Oh, hey, Crush Joints seems like a good way to start the turn. Oh, and we have Incense Burner, which I really should pay attention to way more than I do. Okay. So, uh, yeah, powerful fight, they say. Cool. Yeah, this can be good for when you need a way to exit Wrath, because you have, like, three ways to enter Wrath in your deck. Horn cleat. That was good on our ironclad run. Bag of marbles is interesting. Let's our other vulnerables land more easily on things that, you know, have artifact. All right. Oh yeah, we have that mask. Let's get rid of a basic strike. 
Oh man, we could take Orrery, add five cards, and then get three more health from Eternal Feather. <laughs> Can I afford both of these? No. If I had not removed a card, I could have afforded both of them. But, like, you gotta make use of Smiling Mask, right? Let's take Hornfleet. Now we have block for free on the first two turns. Super safe. Let's see, did I take Empty Fist when it was offered? Yeah. Did not take whatever other card it was. Alright, let's go. Smith. Wow, a lot of our deck is actually upgraded. Wrath, and then Consecrate Signature Move, really? Pow! Casual third of the boss's health, turn one. Okay, but uh, it turns out I can't actually exit stance here. He's like a gambler's brew. Find oh flurry of blows, thanks. We still can't exit stance. But we can kill a guy. Uh, yeah, let's miracle evaluate. We got full no, we don't have full block. I, for some reason, read 14 times 2 as, like, the 2 replaced the 1, and it's 24. Vigilance, keep tra tranquility around. Alright. Flurry of blows. Yeah, no way to end Wrath here. Do I want to exit Calm? I'd almost rather stay in Calm Stance and not Empty Fist this turn. Okay, what are we doing here? Production, close, concentrate. Empty Body, Flurry of Blows, Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, versus... Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, Vault. I like not giving the enemy turns. Alright, there's Worship. It would be the first Worship played. It's not really like Reach Heaven through Violence. It gets us pretty close to a kill. That's 51 damage. Uh, what attacks are in this hand? Through violence and signature move. Hmm. Unfortunate for our enemies. We're an enemy singular. Finish them off with the signature move. Hey, bubble miracle. That's pretty good. Conjure blade, lesson learned, spirit shield. I think Conjure Blade is the most fun thing here. Sneko? Are we Sneko? I don't think we're Sneko. I think Busted Crown. I think this deck can beat the game. Finally, Act 2 Busted Crown is way better than the Act 1 Busted Crown. If it can show up there, I think it can. Far right, fight a couple elites, get a couple campfires. Seems fine to me. 
don't know, do we actually try to challenge the heart? I don't think we can beat the heart. I don't think we're that strong. Although, I don't really know too much about the Watcher's anti-heart capabilities. But I don't think we have a way to survive enough of the big attack. This is mostly a deck that deals damage. See, I was thinking like burning Elite, but also we lose a campfire if we go that route. Let's just focus on winning this run. Because I'm actually a mega coward. That's the conclusion, right? Although I do have some block, I guess. Let's see. We can play both Flurry of Blows without it actually resulting in us taking damage still. Although, Reach Heaven would have been a much better option than the second Flurry of Blows. Eh, let's take two and still play this. It was a misplay, but I think it would have been a bigger misplay if I had continued to not attack or maybe the opposite of whatever I just said oh, conjure blade sure putting a big ol' attack in so we can finish him in one shot once it actually comes up safety Oh, it gets multiple hits. Wait a minute. Wasn't really thinking about that. Alright. I could take four now to just win. Or I could expect that I can block better on another turn. Oh, we have a... Incense Burner this turn. Kill him. We don't scry and yeah, just pass on those. Huh. It indignation consecrate reach heaven strike. How much does that do? Let's see. 18 times 2 plus another 18. So 18 times 3 is 54? Yeah, we can just take out the one that's attacking. Got him. Okay. We have Tranquility as an option to exit Wrath. Uh, just double defend, you don't need to exit Wrath. Okay. This turn looks a lot like the previous, except neither of them have block. Oh, hey, Vault. Could be good. Yeah, let's not have this one respawn. I think we probably got him. Yeah, got him. Third eye. Block and scry. Sure. It's upgraded. And after how that previous boss is turn one went. Let's see. Reach Heaven's signature move? Uh, Miracle Evaluate? Seems fine. Maybe Vault is better than I'm giving it credit for, but I feel like if I have stuff I want to do with all my energy on a turn, maybe I should just spend my energy. Okay. This is a good turn for Simmering Fury. Let's conjure that blade. Have I played Warship once? Maybe I should not have added that. Alright, they look like they're dealing a lot of damage. But actually, the one on the left is dead, and if we exit stance, we take far less damage. 
Definitely play these while we're in Wrath. Maybe I should have played Indignation for the Vulnerable. Let's play Insight. Do you have the kill? Yeah. Alright, any misplays I made there didn't matter. Flex Potion, huh? Swivel. Gain 8 block, the next attack you play costs 0. Do I have attacks that cost more than 2? Well, I mean, Reach Heaven costs exactly 2. I'll just pass. Oh yeah. Gambling ship really mitigates Writhe. I think basic defend isn't quite good enough. I don't know if we're gonna crush joints. Hey, it's flurry of blows. Don't automatically play a strike just because it came up. Third eye. Yeah, that's fine. So right now we're still taking a bit of damage. Maybe it would have been a good turn for Flex Potion. Like, just visiting a campfire gives us, like, 15 free healing or something. Good indignation through violence signature move. And consecrate. I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, and our flurry of blows. Except we don't even get the signature move, because they're dead. Bowling Badge, who's the boss? Donu Deca, again. I fought all the same bosses on both runs. Let's take Bowling Bash, actually. And Empty Body? It is upgraded. Yeah, Block is pretty cool to have sometimes. He's Waffle. <laughs> Could be good. Second indignation. Yeah, let's let's remove strike. Then I really wouldn't mind another attack, but I don't think these attacks are the ones we want. Swift strike is almost good enough. <laughs> actually, maybe it is good enough. Yeah, let's take it. And let's actually take Lee's waffle. Even though we were going to heal the full. I just wanted max HP. Upgrade the other flurry of blows. Now it's as good as swift strike. Except for like all the times that we can put it back into our hand are pretty excellent. Alright. Pass on that. I think we can probably like kill some swords, especially with vault. I think if we're using vault, we don't care as much about third eye. We're going to... Indignation, Crush Joints, Vault. Unless we draw something better. I could even toss the Miracle if I wanted. Oh, hey, Consecrates. Oh, except I messed up the Crush Joints. Should have played that before the Consecrates. Is it worth Miracle to play Crush Joints, Empty Fist? And then, yeah, I don't think we even care if the vault is played. I mean, we could still vault, actually. Alright. Corruption, swift strike. No need to empty body. Hey, Flurry of Blows, our actual signature move. Okay, good Reptomancer. White Beast Statue. Now I wish I'd actually taken the, uh... Potion effects are doubled. Power Potion has synergy with Mummified Hand. Do I have enough? No. Study. Uh, no. On average, that's draw one extra card per turn, which, uh... The defect value is at one energy, I'm pretty sure.
think the card is machine learning. Yeah, Conjure Blade seems good. Lantern, nice. Goes well with our bag of prep and our gambling ship. Okay, you want to deal 13 this round. I mean, our anchor almost has us with full defense as long as we're not in wrath. We can find something better than bowling bash. Maybe we can't. Nope. This play should have played flurry blows first. Missed seven damage. Do I empty fist or do I just want to be in wrath next turn? I could defend. Well, I can still be in wrath next turn. We play simmering fury. We'll enter wrath automatically. Letter opener damage. Oh, right, I forgot about slow. Uh, there was definitely a better order to play those cards in. Well, probably. Okay, what are we doing this turn? Let's get some block. Indignation seems good. I don't think I'm actually going to play the Expunger this battle. Reach Heaven. Consecrate. Consecrate should have gone before Reach Heaven. Should have actually considered that I could draw cards that turn. Do I Miracle Strike? Miracle Defend might actually be worth it. <laughs> into signature move soon, I think? Or did we already pass it? Defend, just for more vulnerable, and then we're playing the ball. Hey, this signature move. Oh, it lights up when you can actually play it. I'm not sure I'd really processed that. 209, huh? Mango, sick. We have all the max HP we ever need, hopefully. I mean, if we don't have enough max HP, that means we're gonna die. Because I don't think we're getting more. Uh, do I need to fight another elite for more Black Star value? Probably not. Okay. Toss that. Don't need to defend anything this turn. I guess I could have kept them for the purpose of, um... Oh, it occurs to me I could have pretty much just passed on that, gotten it back with any form of stance change, although I don't have a stance change here. Wait. If I play Worship, I need to Miracle if I'm gonna play Signature Move this turn. That's fine. Oh yeah. I should have at least looked at my ink bottle to see if that could potentially ruin the signature move. Alright. It's a turn where we play all the cards. Actually, we don't play all the cards. Alright. Get rid of anything that doesn't deal damage. Uh, whoops. It doesn't matter, but I misclicked. Third Consecrate? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, let's just go this way. Oh no! I'm at max HP! I might need it! <laughs> hmm. Let's uh, discard that, take the Fruit Juice, and then take Liquid Memory. We got our max HP back, we're fine. The run is saved. <laughs> what if it actually comes down to the last five hit points now that I've said that? I would look like a fool. I would also be a fool, so like it would be a pretty accurate representation. And 
Ah, uh, hold on to empty body, maybe. Oh, good morning. So we don't have a way to enter Wrath here. What if I just make a gigantic conjure blade? Play the miracle. Play the bottled miracle. That sounds fun. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> Man, that's like as good as the searing blow we had last run. Yeah, hopefully I don't uh, die for doing that. Pretty good. Clearly it's going well for you since Donu has appeared. Yeah. I think that's how this game works. If Donu appears, your run's going good. Ah, there's the expunger. Can we enter? We don't have a way to enter Wrath. See, even if we set up a skill, Crush Joints wouldn't actually inflict... Uh, vulnerable because of artifact. I mean, we still play the expunger, clearly. Do we flex expunger? Yeah, we flex expunger. Get expunged. Let's see, I have uh, at least one flurry of blows in here, right? Yeah, let, well, we've got the flex up. This tranquility. Deal some more damage. Alright, we're taking some hits. Cannot deny that we're taking hits. I reach heaven barely doesn't kill. Oh, you know what's fun, though? Liquid Memories. Get the Expunger back. Where is it? Did I shuffle? No, there it is. Alright. This is a very fair amount of damage that's about to happen here. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> I mean, I did waste three miracles making that Expunger really big. Prime your staff with divine energy and deal 1,029 damage. Yeah, the, the, the X Sponger was prepared. Ascension mode level 4 unlocked. Also, more Watcher cards unlocked. I forgot I didn't even have them all yet. Oh, Artifact unlocks. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. Whenever you play an attack, gain 1 temporary dexterity. Interesting. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain 9 gold. Hmm. Interesting. Over the course of the run, gain 9 gold per card earned if you get it right away is probably worth... Let's see, I think most net runs add about 20 cards. So that's worth like 180, roughly, if you get it immediately. Huh. Well, I've done two runs. <laughs> uh, they went well. They were fast, both under an hour. I guess if I do another run, I'm playing as the silent? Alternative plays. I could do a one step from Eden run. I could play like an hour of Terraria. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna take another break, actually, because I think I need another. So yeah, be back in a couple minutes, maybe leave opinions on what I should do. 